This time last year, the firing of an entire class of Georgia State Patrol troopers made headlines. Their integrity came into question and the citations they wrote. Now most of them have been cleared of charges. 11 Live's Latasha Givens talked with one of those troopers. It was devastating, heartbreaking, and there's really no other way to describe it embarrassing as well. Chris Cardell was one of more than 30 Georgia State Patrol troopers fired for allegedly cheating on a test. But after a one year investigation and 8,000 documents later, most of them were cleared. Did the cadets work together? Did they utilize their computers? Yes, there's there's no doubt about that. They did. Um, did they have an intent to be deceitful, to lie, to cheat? Uh, no. Mike Ayers, the executive director for the Peace Officer Standard and Training Council, says the investigation found the troopers believed it was OK to collaborate with each other and use additional resources for an online test, even though their instructors say they didn't give the cadets that impression. There is no indication that uh, there was any willful deception on the part of those troopers. Cordell says he feels vindicated by this independent investigation. Even though we know the truth, you know, everyone else didn't. Ayers says while 32 of the troopers in the 106th class were cleared, one was not. He says sanctions were recommended for that trooper, as well as two instructors and a cadet from a previous class. Ayers says those four cases are under appeal. Because uh, the council voted to take no action, that means that uh, they are free to pursue a career in law enforcement. Does this fall in the category of wrongful termination? I would not be the one who, who should answer that question because, number one, I'm not a lawyer, and number two, I don't know anything about that part of it. But Cordell's attorney, Jeff Pill, says the troopers should have never been fired to begin with. To terminate them all, to make a public spectacle, out of it and then to issue a report labeling them all as cheaters. I mean, it's it's just absurd. Air says Post does bear some responsibility in this case because the certification test used to be offered in person, but when they made it available online just a few years ago, they never considered or even set guidelines for how outside resources could be used, including group work.